Hi everyone, it's Julie. Welcome back to my channel. So I am currently on a little mini vacation up in Utah. We are staying at a friend's cabin near Brinehead. So it's just absolutely beautiful out here and I just wanted to take this time to show you guys what I'll be eating on this trip and also share some tips with you on how to eat healthy and how to stay on track when you're traveling. So I am just sipping here my coffee with some coconut milk. So before we go into what I'll be eating today, I wanted to just share with you guys some tips on how to stay on track when you're traveling. So when traveling anywhere, it's always good to prepare your foods in advance. So even though we're gonna be stopping at different places to eat, I always like to have backup foods uh, especially because we're at a cabin so I'll be cooking and making foods here as well but I like to have a lot of fruits on hand for my snack and then also I like to pre-cut vegetables and pre-cut anything um, as far as salads are concerned so that when I want to put a salad together I can just throw the ingredients together in a bowl and mix it up and just be done especially with two small kids I don't have a whole lot of time to prep in advance when they're up and they're awake and so I like to do this before I even travel so that when we do get to our destination everything is already prepared and I don't have to worry about are my boys going to sleep during their nap time for me to prepare are they going to get up uh, too early or too late because when you're traveling with kids as you know their schedules are thrown off and you don't know how they're going to um, function and uh, how they're going to react to the different time zones or their schedules that are not off and so uh, to prep for that and to um, work ahead of schedule I like to pre-cut everything. The second tip I s would say is when you are going to different restaurants and different places you can always try to call in advance to see what do they have on their menu that is whole food plant-based so that you know should you bring something with you or can you make special requests so that you're not thrown off and the other thing too is you want to check your options in the area so obviously most cities um, have restaurants that usually will accommodate you so you can look in advance to see you know what those restaurants are a lot of the Asian restaurants, Mexican restaurants, they're really good about, you know, preparing foods that have a lot of vegetables in them, a lot of vegetable heavy dishes, along with uh, whole foods, whole grains like rice, beans. Uh, so you can always check that out as well. I know Happy Cow, the app, will have different vegan and vegetarian restaurant options depending on what city you're in. Uh, they'll list the different um, vegetarian and vegan restaurants there so that you can check out so you're not completely thrown off. Um, but I found that you don't have to go to a vegan or vegetarian restaurant. You can just go to some type of like ethnic restaurant. The Asian or Mexican restaurants are usually my favorite. And they'll have a lot of different vegetable based uh, recipes and meals for you you can check out. Of course always ch see where your local stores are at because that's where you're going to find your fruits and vegetables and everything basically that you need so look in advance to where those stores are at. You know, Are these stores close to your hotel? How far are they from your hotel or your airport? Most airports do have um, gift shops that'll have like fruits in them and 
so it's pretty easy, I think, especially traveling within the U.S. Uh, to find places that can accommodate you, whether it's a store or certain restaurants. But prepping in advance is the main thing. That's the main number one thing that I would recommend is bring your food, bring as much food as you can. And if you have a lot of vegetables, which you should because they're so low in calorie, try to buy pre-cut vegetables, either pre-cut already packaged from the store or you can cut them up yourself like I did and a lot of fruits on hand so that when you're wanting a snack you can find something that is going to be lower in calories higher in water and fiber to help you stay satiated without um, grabbing a high caloric density food such as um, a candy bar or something so as you'll see I brought most of my food and if I have a chance to show you what I ate eating out, I will. It's just hard to control the camera when I have my two little boys with me. So, but if I have that chance, I will show you that as well. Here I just have a simple breakfast that included a bagel and I just ate it plain. I didn't eat it with anything with some oranges and a side salad which was a mixture of carrots, broccoli, seaweed, cauliflower, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And I actually had made this at home and brought it with me to the cabin. So really quick and easy and perfect for on the go. So this is the salad that I made with the vegetables that you saw earlier, which included my carrots, romaine lettuce, zucchini, and bell peppers. And I topped it off with my homemade vegan honey mustard dressing, which I'll link the uh, recipe down below if you would like that. And then I just topped it off with some sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, raisins. I made a big batch so that I can use it for both my lunches and dinners. So each night for dinner, I pretty much had the same thing. I would always have a side of salad, which was a salad that I had made earlier, a side of steamed vegetables, in this case it was green beans, and then I would have either some beans or I would have corn. So I would mix it up with a different grain, but it was basically the same thing every night. So we all spent a lot of time outside just enjoying nature, doing some hiking, playing in the grass and the local parks. And so some of the snacks that I brought for not only myself but my boys included a trail mix that had different types of nuts and seeds. And I also like to get the uh, cliff bars for kids and also fruits of course. And I usually ate mostly the fruits, but then I would have a bite of their uh, clip bars if they didn't finish it. And I also had some of the nuts and seeds. If you're trying to lose weight though, you definitely want to watch how many nuts and seeds you eat because they're definitely addicting and you can get carried away easily with it. But these are just fun snacks for hiking and really quick and easy for on the go as well. Some of my other meals included overnight oats, which you see here that was soaked in coconut milk and I had topped it with some oranges, apples, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and dried cranberries. So my last meal was similar to the overnight oats. Instead of oats, I just used buckwheat. I used my same toppings with the apples and oranges. And I did mix my buckwheat groats with some peanut butter tea powder and that made it nice and delicious. Okay, you guys, we are about to head back home. It was a very short but relaxing trip up to the cabin here at 
Brian had in Utah. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly what I ate on my little mini vacation and how you can still keep it healthy, keep it simple and whole. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!